With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, the question is consider the following statement. Consider the following statement. So statement one is complementary cells are thin walled, rounded, colorless, pan chemitis and non severized In of statement B is secondary phloem and peridome are included in bar. Statement C is in a dry cut root, vascular cambium is completely secondary in origin. And D is in a dry cut root, vascular cambium is initially wavy which later becomes circular. So how many of our statements are true? The question is how many of our statements are true? So students, four statements are given in the question. We need to find out how many of them are correct. So let's discuss it. So students, here is the diagram of a lenticel present in the cork tissue. These are found in old dicotyledonous stem as well as, well as in the roots. They may be oval rounded or oblong in shape. So this is the lenticel. Lenticel, lenticel. So, friends, as we can see, they may be oval rounded or oblong in shape. So, they have outer raised margins and internally they have loosely arranged. These cells are loosely arranged, colorless parenchyma cells which are called complementary cells. So these cells are called complementary cells. Complementary cells. Complementary cells which are loosely arranged and parenchyma cells also and they are colorless. So in the first statement given is Complementary cells are thin walled, rounded, colorless, parent, chymatis, and non severized So these are the complementary cells which are colorless, loosely arranged, parent chymatis, as well as non severized So severized cells form the periderm. The tissue that develops secondary stem as part of the bar. So basically, they are non severized. Non severized. These are complementary cells are non severized. So the so the first statement is correct. Let's talk about the second statement that is. Option B, secondary phloem and periderm are included in bark. This is epidermis. 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 This, this one is the phloem or cork. Phloem. Phelum or cork. This one is the phelazen. Phelazen or cork cambium. And this one is the phelodom. Phelodom. Phelodom or outer cortex. Phelodom. So, students, our second statement is. Secondary phloem and periderm are included in work. This is the image of a TS of a work. So bark is a non-technical term that refers to all tissues exterior to the vascular cambium. So these are the tissues. Here we can see in this diagram that this is vascular cambium, vascular cambium, vascular cambium, cambium. So Bark 
is referred to all tissues exterior to the vascular cambium. So these are all these tissues include the bark which are exterior to vascular cambium. So these include secondary phloem as you can see the secondary phloem which includes phloem fibers phloem fibers phloem fibers fiber phloem fibers phloem fibers it includes the phloem that is cork 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 cambium that is phloem cork cambium cork cambium cambium phloem fiber phloem parenchyma phloem phloem parenchyma parenchyma and sieve tube sieve tube this is sieve tube and ray so these all include the bar so the statement secondary phloem and periderm are included in bark is true it also includes the periderm so the given statement is true so stress our third and fourth statement are in a dicot root vascular cambium is completely secondary in origin and in a dicot root vascular cambium is initially wavy which later becomes circular so let's have a look on a vascular cambium of a dicot root so friends here we can see in a dicot root the vascular cambium is completely secondary in origin here is the they originate from the tissue located just below the phloem bundles so here we can see the phloem bundles primary phloem primary phloem and secondary phloem so this is the primary phloem primary phloem primary phloem phloem and here is the secondary phloem this is the secondary phloem secondary phloem secondary phloem phloem and the vascular cambium or cambial ring is just located below the phloem bundles these phloem bundles below this is located in the cambial ring cambial ring cambial ring or cambial ring so our third statement is that is uh, the that is in a dicot root vascular cambium is completely secondary in origin is true and fourth statement is in a dicot root vascular cambium is initially wavy which later becomes circular this is also true because as we can see in this image that that the cambial ring is this is the cambial ring so this cambial ring is this cambial ring is it goes like this this and this so this is forming a complete and continuous wavy ring which later becomes circular as we can see in this image that it has become cambial ring has become circular so this statement fourth is also true so the answer is how many of our statements are true all four
all four statements are true all all four statements are true means are true hope you all understand that's all thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today